Today, we will look at the best Bell helicopters and rotorcraft currently in production or are still available in the market. This is an update on our past video on Bell helicopters for private use or charter. And this time around, we'll focus more on multi-use utility aircraft, including those for military use. We'll check out each of their current price, technical specifications, and other exciting features. So be sure to check out which helicopter bagged the top spot at the end of this video. Founded by Lawrence Dale Bell in 1935, Bell Helicopters originally specialized in developing and producing fighter aircraft. The P-39 Aero Cobra and the twin-engined XFM-1 Aracuda were the first fighter helicopters they ever produced. The Bell 47 later found success in both the military and the civilian sectors after being the first helicopter in the world to ever receive certification for civilian use from a civil aviation authority. Significant improvements in the quality of their models were spurred by the employment of inventor Arthur M. Young to work on helicopter research and development. Now, a subsidiary under Textron, Bell Helicopters remains to be one of the most respected helicopter brands globally. This is Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. At number 5, we have the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X. With its debut in 2017, this highly flexible light helicopter received certification from the Federal Aviation Administration in that same year and received a high altitude certificate two years after. A single 505 shaft horsepower Turbo Mecha Arius 2R turboshaft engine powers this helicopter. It can cover a maximum range of 306 nautical miles, a service ceiling of 18,610 feet of pressure altitude, and reach maximum cruise speeds of 125 knots. It can carry an internal useful load of 1,500 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 4,475 pounds with a fuel tank of 96 gallons. The Bell 505 Jet Ranger X has high-powered components that use the rotor system of the Bell 206 L4, as well as an airframe made of metal and composite materials. It uses the fully integrated Garmin G1000H flight deck that helps reduce pilot workload. It adapts the customer's needs with adjustable seats and more rear cabin space and it is often customized into private luxury helicopters for business executives. The passenger service configuration offers comfortable pilot and passenger seats, carpet, high-quality interior panels, and a range of other upgrades. This helicopter now has a starting price of 1.75 million US dollars, brand new. At number 4, we have the Bell 407. This is one of the most reliable single-engine helicopters on the market, thanks to its 862 horsepower Rolls-Royce model 250C47E4 turboshaft engine with dual digital FADEC. This amazing seven-seater cruiser can achieve a top speed of 133 knots, a service ceiling of roughly 18,000 feet in a range of 337 nautical miles. Moreover, it comes with 127 gallons of tank capacity, 6,000 pounds of maximum takeoff weight, and 2,550 pounds of useful load. The Bell 407 helicopter is now updated with a Garmin G1000H NXI integrated flight deck for enhanced pilot awareness with advanced synthetic vision and terrain avoidance warning systems. Its precise flight pulse light system minimizes bird strikes and enhances the helicopter's external visibility while in flight. This is a tried and tested platform with IFR certification 
and it has flown more than 6 million hours globally, cementing its reputation as one of the finest helicopter options for industrial, business, instruction, emergency medical services, or military multi-role usage. The base price for this helicopter is now at 3.2 million US dollars. At number 3, we have the Bell 429. Two highly reliable and efficient Pratt & Whitney Canada PW207 D1 D2 turboshaft engines with 720 horsepower power this helicopter. This fast and comfortable helicopter is mostly used for corporate missions. It has a maximum cruise speed of 155 knots a maximum range of 411 nautical miles, and a maximum endurance of 4.5 hours. It has 217 gallons of fuel capacity as standard, with optional auxiliary fuel storage. Its maximum takeoff weight is 8,000 pounds, and it has a useful internal load of around 3,000 pounds. The Bell 429 boasts a completely integrated glass cockpit, which is the proprietary Bell Basics Pro avionic system. This is a highly customizable and flexible suite with single pilot IFR capability and a dual pilot option. It features a large cabin space with club style seats for six passengers and even has a wide aft doors for easy cargo or passenger loading. Additionally, most components and interior features are adjustable, and there is also an optional retractable wheeled landing gear for easy taxiing or landing on tight spaces like the deck of a super yacht. The current cost estimates for a brand new Bell 429 is about 8 million US dollars. And number two, we're switching things up a bit with the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. Although strictly not a helicopter, this is a unique tilt-rotor aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. This rotorcraft is jointly produced by Boeing and has over 30 years of use in the U.S. military for combat and humanitarian missions. It's powered by Rolls-Royce Liberty AE-1107C engines with an incredible 6,150 shaft horsepower, allowing it to reach a maximum cruise speed of 266 knots and a service ceiling of 25,000 feet. The number 22 may be in its name, but a total of 26 passengers can fit in its frame, with a total maximum takeoff weight of 52,600 pounds and a fuel capacity of 1,721 gallons for the base model MV-22. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is tested in the most severe locations and flight conditions on Earth, from the desert to the Arctic. It is designed specifically for the maritime environment, utilizing corrosion-resistant materials and a foldable blade for onboard storage on aircraft carriers or other large ships. The triple redundant fly-by-wire controls of this aircraft make it capable of handling a wide range of missions. And if all isn't enough, it altered how the U.S. military engages in warfare and relief services, with a fleet of more than 400 aircraft logging more than 600,000 flying hours. It has a reported price tag of 84 million U.S. dollars. Before we look at the number one spot, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and show your support with a thumbs up and a short comment if you enjoyed this video. Finally at number one, and similar to our choice for the number two spot, we're venturing into more experimental territory with the Bell V280 Valor. In 2013, Bell Helicopters and Lockheed Martin unveiled their collaboration on developing the V-280 Valor. 
Four years later, the aircraft was revealed to the public on its first flight in December 2017. Two General Electric T64 turboshaft engines allow it to cruise at a maximum speed of 280 knots, hence its name V280. However, its reported technical specifications include a top speed of 300 knots, a range of 2,100 nautical miles, and a service ceiling of 6,000 feet. The maximum takeoff weight is 30,000 pounds, and dual cargo hooks give it around 10,000 pounds of lift capacity. The Bell V280 is a unique protocraft that uses a V-tail design, retractable landing gear, and a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system. It guarantees an equal agility, less downtime, and increased operation protection with speeds and ranges many times more efficient than existing tilt rotor platforms. Moreover, its lightweight and aerodynamic build feature wing skins and ribs constructed as honeycomb stiffened sandwiches with large cell carbon cores. This high tech aircraft was triumphant in securing one of the most crucial Army helicopter procurements in history. Besting Sikorsky Defiant X in the U.S. Department of Defense's Future Long Range Assault Aircraft Program. Since it is still currently in the advanced prototype stage, the price of this helicopter is still undisclosed. Which of these Bell helicopters and rotorcraft models caught your attention? What do you think about their latest aircraft advancements and developments? Which other helicopter brands and manufacturers would you like us to feature next? If you want more aviation goodness, please check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe and don't miss out on our next video. Until next time, thank you for watching and fly safe!